There's a new tool in town created by the one and only LIFO FIFO, and that's called Swap. It's a non-custodial inscription trading platform. And to give you an example of the use case is, let's say if you've got a Wizards of Ord in your wallet that I really like the look of, I might send you a message or I might say, hey, I've got this uh, other inscription that I wanted to swap for you and I'll send you a bit of Bitcoin. And so basically you can create these complex trades where it's either a simple trade, which is just a swapping an inscription for another inscription, or it can be a bit more complex where you decide to add some Bitcoin into that transaction. So offering your inscription plus Bitcoin for the other person's inscription. And so the way you do that, and we'll run through this whole process in a minute, is initiate the swap. So you set up the swap by picking the inscription in your wallet and then including Bitcoin if you want to choose as the offer. And then you share the swap URL with the counterparty and then they sign and complete the transaction. So when you're creating the transaction, you, you sign your half of the transaction. And then basically the other party, once they get their URL, signs that and then finishes that transaction. And it's an atomic swap. So meaning everything happens. It's not partial transactions. You're not getting part of the transaction. You can't just pick the Bitcoin out. You can't just pick the inscription out. It's completing that whole transaction, the swap as you see it. So to run through the process, we're gonna connect our X first wallet. You select inscription. So this is what you're gonna send them. And I've got this really cool wizard of all that I think's worth a lot. Uh, so you can choose to include Bitcoin if you want. So I'm not going to include Bitcoin in mine. So, and what I've found is I've actually found someone with an Ord Rain in their wallet. And I think I really like the look of this Ord Rain. I think my Wizard of Ord is worth the same amount. And th they've agreed that that's worth the same amount as well. Now, the best thing to do uh, when you're on the receiving end, we'll actually look at this a little bit closer, but you always want to go to Magic Eden and verify that this inscription is the correct one. So when you're creating the transfer, uh, if you're trusted, if people, if you know, if you're creating this yourself, we really hope that you use the legit ones. But just bear in mind that there is a potential for scammers or malicious actors to include things that look like this one, but it's not the legit inscription. So always make sure if you're on the receiving end, and as I said, we'll go over that, you verify the inscription that you're receiving is actually from the legitimate collection. So to run over this again, we're trading one inscription, which is the Wizard of Ord 1213. And then we're gonna receive from this party, Ord Rain number 52. And just for this example, I've just picked a random Ord Rain. I don't know who owns this one here. Fee rate is two cents per V1. And then we're gonna create our swap. So all we need to do is basically say, and, and XS provides a really good run through of this. So you will transfer from your wallet, we're transferring this inscription and you will receive uh, this inscription here. And then we just go confirm. Now, all we need to do is actually copy this and share it with the party. Uh, there's some important notes here. We'll run over that once we pretend like we're on the receiving end. So I'm gonna go back and get the URL that someone else has created for me for a swap and then we'll review that. All right, so we've received a swap offer. As you can see, the URL is a little bit different, it's forward slash accept, and then it has um, a unique ID there as well. Now, important notes, double check all inscription IDs, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Review all inputs and outputs in a wallet pop-up before signing. This is always just something you can do with, in general with any transaction, just looking at the actual transaction review screen. Um, and disclaimer, by finalizing the swap, you acknowledge that you understand the terms of the trade. All swaps are final and cannot be reversed once executed. We are not responsible for any losses. So just a little bit of a caveat from the Wizard of All team. Connect and finalize. So you want to connect to the wallet that they have set up the trade for. Um, if you're talking to this individual, uh, you should they should be telling you which wallet they're using. So for this one here, um, we're sending, they've said, hey, I want to swap this inscription in your wallet for these two Toshis here. Now, if we select the Toshi itself, it will take us directly to Magic Eden. We can see that it's part of a collection, the Toshi order. So we can verify that this actually is a legitimate inscription inside this collection. Now, it's always worth, maybe you wanna go that little bit step deeper. If this is something of high value, you could even go to the Discord, um, make sure everything's legit and say, hey, is this inscription ID a part of your collection? The party would then come back and say, yes, it is. And you'd, you'd verify all of these things here. So it's a very simple swap. I'm sending this inscription here and then I'm receiving two Toshis from the other party. 
I've uh, viewed both of my both of these Toshis here. They're both in the Toshi Order collection, and I'm pretty confident they're a part of that. They're a legitimate uh, inscription. They're the ones that I want to be swapping. So this is where I talked about before. There, scammers might put an inscription that looks like this Toshi here. They might even have a um, you know a similar collection or a fake collection or do something like that to to try and fool you. Um, but I suppose it's always worth just double checking. And the other thing is like if you're if you're trading a you know a popular collection, you could look at the activity and make sure there's been lots of trades there. Um, this is just a random collection we're using for the demo here, but if it's a high value item, they should you know have some trade history and uh, that kind of gives you a bit more credibility as well. We're just going to sign and execute. And as mentioned, we're going to transfer from my address. So always double check this. Uh, you should be this should match what you're seeing here. And Xverse makes it extremely clear, which is great. Um, and then we're going to receive uh, these two inscriptions here, which is what we want to see. Now, while it is showing a network fee there, that is actually covered by the person that created that swap transaction. Transaction is in the mempool. And so once that's done, we've completed our swap and we've now um, completed a trustless swap between two parties. So hopefully that's helped you out and you'll be able to complete your own swaps now.